Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matt, and I am that campaign guy. And welcome back to the Numidia campaign, episode four. From the last episode, Gizgo was now bathing in gold wine and murex after his conquest of Cordoba. Syphax and his duck-faced prodigy Tidates hold strong in North Africa after their conquest of Carthage and Thapsus. Astazav is still dreaming blissfully of the Welsh green down in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Donny Bell is still feeling oh so poorly. And Mutinez and Jagertha are still faffing about in Egypt. And actually, this is where I am going to start. Now, in the last episode, I advocated for Captain Zimrida to go around the rear and strike here in the Derry air. However, this is very silly because I actually can't reach. Now, it means I have to wait two turns to relieve the Siege of Alexandria, which I am not going to do. Now, I also realised, I discussed that if I attacked out of a city onto a bridge, it remains a bridge battle, and I completely forgot that I actually have archers down here in Memphis, which can come over and assist. So, let's stop faffing about and let's kill some Egyptians. This should be absolutely fine, like they're just peasant units, and uh, Kia himself when in the open against such an archer advantage should fall. Right, let's go. Right, it is indeed a city battle, which is joyous. Good for us. Now, I'm not quite sure where my reinforcements are coming from. I think they're going to come from back here or maybe over there, but it doesn't really matter. All they're going to be doing is waiting for them to join up, and then we can shoot the shit out of Kia. Oh, I am looking forward to this. Now, I actually want my cavalry closest to the gate. I want them first out, because we could be sneaky and try and take out these bowmen or skirmishers early in the game while uh, these guys, they, they always often manoeuvre to the highest point, which is over here. They're not going to run all the way down there, they're going to run to here. So uh, yeah, the chariots will go first, Nubian Spear will be shortly following, probably the bowmen as well. We might be able to take out the skirmishers. Okay, these guys are just going to linger back to the side here, and you, yeah, you can stay there. Okay, let's get cracking. Yep, they're coming from behind. But will they be enough for final victory? Units. Right, we're actually going to move the- going to walk out the infantry. They're not going to get in the way of the cav. Okay, let's see what we can take out. Now, we don't want to get too close. Those, uh, the chariot archers can still fire while they're moving. But what we can do is see if we- oh, can we pick up those bowmen? Oh, we got the settlement. But almost just a few lazy buggers that- come on, Steve. Good, okay, we're off. Bloody Steve. Steve! Alright, hey, good. Thought you were on skirmish mode, Steve. Right. I think this is a very dumb idea. Yep, yeah, this is a very, very dumb idea. Let's just pull out from there. Oh, what are you doing? Go up there! Right, and now you guys are gonna go in here. And they should be able to take out those skirmishers pretty easily. Yep, with ease. Okay, good. And this is going to make our life so much easier. Without these units here, they're not really going to be able to charge in at my archers as we fire in on Kia. Though he may retreat. Now, if you're looking at this balance bar, the uh, the units do have a, in Red Dead War have a tendency to retreat when they're at a large disadvantage. Now, with my new units here, I reckon these guys are going to flee. If they do, I'm not going to chase them. Um, I know when I chase elephants across the uh, in a couple episodes ago, I sh really shouldn't have done that, but I had more reason to to try and get 85%. I have a very good reason not to attack chariots here. I don't need to have 85%. I can always take them out later because I have archers to do that job, and I'm going to have plenty more of them once I relieve Alexandria. Right, okay, now we're going to go into a loose formation. 
won't spread quite wide. If they charge me, I'm going to have no problem batting them off. I think. I hope. And the battle music has died down. Okay, now you guys are also going to go into loose formation, but you're going to stand just behind the archers to charge on in, in case any dumb fuckery befouls us. And the mercenaries are going to stand at the front. They're going to be my fodder. I took a little bit of damage on those Numidian Cav. I think they had 32 at the start of the battle. Or 30, yeah, that's 32, 31, so it's not too much. Okay, you guys have to now hold back there. Now, the Nubian Spearmen do not concern me in the slightest. If they charge, I'll be able to surround them and rout them that way. I'm annoyed I didn't get those skirmishers. It's just these uh, these two skirmishing units. Okay, we're going to triple speed just to get there. Waiting for Steve. And that's, that's Bob. Oh, hello. The archers have come to play. Right. You guys are going to move up. Okay, we're all going to move up. Hey, good, they're in tight formation as well. They're about to get wrecked. Oh, that is what we want to see. And Kier is coming in as well. Good, in that time they had to take to reform, they've lost another 30 men. And they're still reforming, lost another 20 men. Yeah, we've got the skirmishing power here. Oh, yes. This war with Egypt is not going to last long. Wonder where they're going to route. I'm surprised that down 50 men they haven't routed yet. Probably because they're right next to their general. Couple more. Yeah, they're, pr they're pretty much useless now. They've only got 20 men left. Okay, now it might actually be time to start firing on these chariots. Let's fire on them. These guys are going to push just a little bit forward. Good, it's my, ch my Numidian, uh, Numidian mercenaries are taking the hit, which is what I want to see. Now, a couple of you may be wondering why I'm actually putting units at the front to be fodder. Like, I know these units are still useful, but the fact is I'm going to be moving at such a fast pace, I'm not going to be able to use mercenaries too much because I want I want to keep replenishing my troops as fast as possible. So I want to keep uh, my archers, desert spearmen, javelinmen, things that I can retrain easily on the move and use these mercenaries as fodder just so I can... Uh, Make sure I don't take too much damage on these guys. I think they're... Hopefully we can kill Kia. He seems to be uh, playing around with me a bit. I think we've taken out a few of his men. Not too many. Maybe about uh, 20, 20 men. Where's, where's his sprite? Where's Kia himself? Might be over the other side. Oh, oh, I saw his massive hat. Don't you hide from me. Your bling gave you away, sir. Good. Oh, yep, yeah, they're dropping. Oh, they're dropping. Come on, take him out. Take him. Oh, hit the guy with the giant beard and the massive hat. Come on. It's like an aubergine on his hat. Aubergine on his hat? Aubergine on his head. I guess it's not... What is an aubergine in America? Is that eggplant? I think it's an eggplant. Yeah, it's an eggplant. Come on, you... Get the eggplant, General. You can do it, I believe. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Hit the eggplant. Right in the eggplant. Please. Please, please. Oh my god, please. Oh, hit him right in the aubergine. Right in the aubergine. I don't think it's not going to get him in the aubergine. Oh, oh, okay, nope. No aubergines today. That is sad. Okay, you're not going to charge in. You're actually just going to do that. You're going to go. No. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> bon, bon, bon. Oh, those Nubians are dead. Oh, they are so very dead. 
Right, let's take out these guys. Take out as many as we can. It's not only that we can't get that general, but the aubergine will live to survive another day. Live to tell the tale. Ooh, I've got a cheeky bit of lag. I think it's probably Bandicam. Okay, how close to the red line? Oh, the red line is yonks away. Oh, they're gonna die. Come on. Having said that... Oh, no, no. Yeah, they're definitely dead. Yeah, they're not gonna... You cannot flee me. Straight in the bum. And you, sir, are gonna chase down those skirmishes. All in a good day's work. Fab. Now, it's li that's literally just Kia left over. I think it's only about 15 men. They're going to route all the way back to Jerusalem. Good. Very, very good. Not too much damage on those archers as well. And we can replenish our archers. Thankfully. Victory! Oh, look at that. Mutineers showing you how it's done. He's a veteran warrior. Look at you! Okay, now this guy, Captain Amelcas, can sally on in to Alexander. We haven't got a whole lot of money. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get rid of some of the building construction. I have been quite liberal with my uh, construction building. Ah, oh, we have a trader, that is why. Now, the trader was to get a, uh, a sewer, so we could have some additional happiness down in Thieves, but that's not essential. I can build up the infrastructure for uh, for luxuries later in the campaign when I have some spare cash to splash around. For now, I'm going to use it on troops. Can uh... Okay, now I don't think I can re recruit any Peltas. No, I can't recruit any Peltas down there. But these guys can move down to Memphis. I believe you can get Javelinmen. Good. Good, 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 good. So, and we're recruiting Archer as well. I'm recruiting Archer here. So next turn, we are going to be able to start our march on Jerusalem. Hopefully we can meet up just around here, way before Gaza, and we can storm our way up into the Levant. Okay, and what is our army going to be? We have uh, three units of Archers. We are then going to get a fourth. Four units of Archers coming from Alexandria. Five... From Memphis, six just outside Memphis, and a seven seven units of archers. That is going to be Xerxes has a boner. We have seven units of archers, and this okay. Now over here, let's see what Captain Quintus Scipio. He has done nothing because I haven't actually ended the turn yet. Always good to see. And over here, Gizgo is still sitting pretty on his bed of gold. Still looks pissed off as hell, but yeah. He's happy, really. He's one of those people who just has a resting bitch face. Like you just, you can't judge him. He just, he's happy at heart. Okay, I think that's kind of everything I need to do. I'm recruiting there. Oh yes, Astazav, dreaming of the Welsh green. He is no longer going to Tingi. I have realised it's actually a lot smarter for him to come up to Serta. It's actually one turn less movement, and that means he can come to Serta, hop on a ship here. And the lads, him and Adonibal, will either have a lads trip to Magaluf, or they're going to go over here to Cartago Nova, invade the Spanish, and then pop on over to uh, to the Balearic Isles. We'll see whichever one's more convenient. I think the ships from uh, from here, from where Isle, I believe that's where the ancient city of Isle is, can uh, sail over to Cartago Nova in one turn, whereas it takes just over a turn to get to Palma. Okay, and I'm just going to chew a... I'm going to chew? I'm going to go through building browser and taxes. So you can go up a tax. Up a few notches. You can tighten your belts. Oh, I'm evil today, as can you. Tax, 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 tax. Death and taxes. Ooh, Alexandria. Now that I've relieved you from siege. Ooh, you're actually very influential. See, so he becomes a veteran. People love him. And uh, Memphis, can you go up? Yes, you can. Just a little bit. I'm going to have to reduce you when I leave the settlement, but that shouldn't be a problem. Thebes. Uh, actually, I think it'll be fine. There's no one in there right now, and that is already 15%, 65 So, yeah, the archers will easily bring up 65%. Uh, Tingi, I'm... Ooh, I could do the same thing, actually. 15% is... 
85. I do that, so that's 55. I'm not sure. I think it will do, but I'm not. I'm not going to risk getting a Lutingi on a low tax rate. Cordoba can definitely go up a notch. Go up two notches and go up two notches. Ooh, we can. Uh, we can also recruit here. That was a good spot. With our newfound money and murex and gold, we can get some more mercenary, or more, more skirmishes. And I think that's it. There we go. How much money are we going to make? We are going to make fuck tons. No, we're not going to. We're only making 3,007 or 3,800 per turn. Right. Let us end the turn there. Okie dokie, now let's see what we can do. We're also going to start in Egypt. This is where the action is going to be. Now, do I want to take all of these units out? Don't want to. No, Mercy's two units. I know I originally wanted to have one of them for a 14 unit. So, uh, typically you want a unit with like 10 or 11 men in them. Something that's never ever going to be useful. And you can stick them in a fort. They can block the route. But the point is, there's no real blocking off points sort of bottlenecks that I can put a fort there of any value. The only one would really be across here, but I'd need multiple, and that would be defend against the Parthians. And they're a few turns off from coming down there anyway. So, what are we going to do? Well, we could all move that one extra space. I'm actually going to be safe and just hop onto the bridge here. Ah, that was a good plan. Neferet. A bit. Uh, he Bob. It's Bob. No, isn't is Nate? No, no, Bob is our name. We've got to think of an evil, evil, evil Bob. Um, Spencer. Spencer of Egypt is coming down with his lollipop hat. He thinks he's so cool. He's coming down here. Can he re? He just can't reach me. Just a little bit off. Spencer with a cool hat. That's. Uh, I guess that's the rest of the Egyptian forces. Ten units is quite a few. That must be made up of the army of Sidon and Jerusalem. Okay, now you are going to pop over here to Mutineers. It's got a 10 units as well. Matching. Uh, is it matching? That's 9 units. Actually, there's one more unit than uh, than old Spencer. Okay, and the prodigy. <laughs> the prodigy of facial hair himself, Jagirtha, age 21, is coming up with his. Horde of skirmishes. Ooh, Memphis is now in the red zone. Let's just bring that up. Good. Um, actually, I'm not going to recruit other unit archers. We're going to get some javelin men. Because right now I have seven units of archers. But I only have was it like three or only really three units of Numidian javelin men. And they're, at the moment, kind of like my infantry. I'll need a couple more of them. Okay, how far can you reach? Reach to there, so I can go here. Move out. No more moves, sire. My liege. Yeah, you can't quite reach me from my there, liege. so I'm gonna. You're gonna March. hook up. I'm gonna hook up three of archers, two of javelinmen. With these guys, we're gonna have 15 units, 16 units. I have 16 units. That's quite a good host. Quite a good army. Nothing too shabby. Hey, where's my money gone? I thought it was gonna be like 4,000. Hmm. Something is fishy here. Anyway, once again, I think we don't need to increase the tax rate here in Thebes. It should be absolutely splendid as it is. With the extra unit, the governance penalty will go, making it 65, plus the unit itself, bring it up to about 80. Right, and that's Egypt dealt with. Oh no, actually no, I lie. We need to get a unit here in Alexandria. We are going to get a unit of archers? need anything actually. So I need how much money does this bring him? Yeah, like 60. Uh, that's really not worth it. Um Yeah, I guess. Actually no, I'm gonna get a unit of peasants. Like eight units of archers is even I think that's a bit excessive. But then again I'm not really gonna get a chance to recruit later. Yeah, so I'm gonna get another unit of archers. Excessive archers, mega Xerxes boner. <laughs> Oh, okay. Now, when I had my cunning plan, I thought the Scipio were going straight for Thapsus, but indeed, I am wrong. 
They have bum rushed straight for Carthage and are joined. Is that just a navy? Oh, it isn't. Okay, the Julia down here as well with three units for Stati. And let me guess. Yes, of course. Okay, all three Roman factions are now attacking me. Joy. Thankfully, the armies aren't actually that big. They're quite small. They're mostly just Hastati skirmishers. There's a thing I saw a war dog in there. Yeah, those war dogs would be annoying. Um, light infantry units kind of get wrecked by dogs. Not to the same extent as Total War Arena. That's just fucking OP. But this, like, oh no, these, the, uh, these dogs here can do some damage on very hard difficulty. Okay, Tita Tez, Duck Face Prodigy. He'll be dealing with the Brutii. He'll be taking some imaging cavalry. Cav cavalry? I can't fucking pronounce it. Okay, he's going there. And Syfax is gonna come over here and deal with Quintus Scipio. I don't think. I don't see this being a problem. Quintus Scipio is not a faction heir or a faction leader, so it'll be a normal sized bodyguard. We can probably surround him and crush him. Yeah, we have three units of cav plus generals. How much do we have here? Oh, yeah, we should be fine. Um, do we need any infantry units? It might be useful, actually. Hmm. Do you know, I'm going to bring this army... I guess I could skirmish the shit out of those guys. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use these because I am scared of those dogs. So Tita Tez has the bulk of the force. He also has reinforcements from Thapsus, three units of javelinmen. Uh, I won't focus on buildings right now. We have Romans to kill. Sire. Captain Abydos. You can sit on the bridge and we'll find out what to do with you. We can then either pull you over to the Brutii or pull you over to the Julii whenever they so land. Right, and now over to Spain. Okay. We did take a bit of damage, a little bit careless in that last battle on that final unit. I lost 20 men from my own skirmishes. It was a little bit silly. But anyway, that has passed. I will deal better with them next time. But we ha are able to recruit here, which is quite nice. I was worried we wouldn't be able to get anything. Okay, we have four units of skirmishers. Now, I've got to decide, do we want to continue on now, take on Spain while they're just recruiting? They could have only got only got a few units. It's only, uh, what, seven turns into the game? They can't have got anything too, too, too strong. But I only have one bodyguard. It might be an idea to try and beat a Spanish force Sire. with one of these guys Mighty to get another general over here. Orders. 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 Okay, now you... I'm actually going to attack them now. I am not. don't see any point waiting. Ooh, we have some money as well. We can get a mercenary. Yep, you would definitely have to go down a couple notches. Let's take you down to a... Uh, there's not too much squalor here, so yeah, I'm going to take it down to a low tax rate. Just to be doubly sure. Yeah, no, no Dimidian gentlemen plus the settlement itself will bring it easily within a contentment into... within contentment? Into contentment? They'll be content. No, they'll be contented. Okay. Now, I do have some spare cash. I could put a watchtower just so I can see what's going on. Um, I'll double check everything else first. If we need any more troops, then I will focus on them first. Okay, Dreams of the Welsh Green, Mr. Monsieur Ashtazef is gonna rock on up to Surta. That's three turns. One, two, three. Oh, three and a bit. It's just over four. Four he can get. Yeah, he can get over here to Iol in four turns. Which means I have four turns worth of... Oh, this is where I need to recruit. Um. Okay, well, I'm going to hold off on those mercenaries. I will get an imaging cav here. And build up. Again, I do have General's bodyguard, so I could just hold off and get those mercenaries. So now I'm going to get this Nubijin Cav, and I'm also going to send Gizgo just a little bit further on, and I can see what the hell is Mighty going on. General. Mighty General. Leaving the army. Move out. Okay, let's have a cheeky peek. Ah, ooh, plenty of armies. Captain Jacome. Jacome. 
Captain Jacom. I don't know why he's Fred. Captain Jacom. Jacom. And Captain Kemen? Captain Kemen, probably just an army of skirmishers. I know you can get a lot of skirmishers from Scalaris. And there's normally their, uh, their king typically hiding in there. Cowering, no doubt. Okay. Ooh, we c oh, yep, Tingy. I'm also going to bring this unit over here. I want to keep recruiting in Tingy because I'm not going to be able to get a whole lot of units just from Cordoba itself. So the more I can get from uh, Tingy, the better. And this can also be a good reinforcement I can bring over here to Cartago Nova when our two generals from the desert, from the depths. From the depths? They're not swimming. Well, I guess he's sort of like, he's swimming in sadness and anger and ill. Yeah, he's swimming in sadness. Okay, so they're swimming down the depths. Right, now I also need to fight this battle. I don't... Kind of putting it off, because even though this isn't a big army, it's still quite strong on very hard. But oh yeah, we are definitely at war. It's actually in their favour. Okay, I think we have to take out the general first and the archers to make sure we have no skirmishing power and no general. Then the morale on these Hastati will be lower and we can hit them in the bum. Good battle plan. Let's go. They are indeed, and I am ready to hit some Roman bum. And oh wow, we have a big ass bodyguard. 85 men. Quintus Scipio, you do not stand a chance. I'm gonna eat your whole. Right, and my merc mercenaries, my uh, reinforcements are coming from Carthage, which is there. It's not on the coast, it should be on the coast. The reinforcements are here! Good. But will they be enough for final victory? Should be. We hope. I hope. I do hope. Okay, get your butts over here. And let us deal a stinging blow to the Skippy Eye. And let's see where the general goes. Looks like he is going after these guys. Okay, let's take him, let's take him, let's take him. Good. Ooh, that was a good charge. Okay, take out our short swords. Gonna come around here so we can hit them in the bum if they try to charge me. Good. We're gonna pull out before they throw their Pilar. These Pilar are very deadly indeed. Ah, we just avoided them. Good. I'm actually going to run these guys off because I don't want them to come back. Oh, 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 they are, those archers are the next problem. They're firing on my general. Okay, I'm fairly sure those guys have run off the field now. Let's take out this Velite unit. It's on its own, isolated. You are hitting my general. You've killed three just with the bows, and they're at pretty much full health. Well, I guess the hit points might be taken down by the general. Okay, those Velites have been squished. They're famooshed. Oh, the general didn't come back. Okay. You're going to go up there. You're going to take the Roman archers. You guys are firing on in. You guys are going to pull out. Good. And why did you not pull back? Okay, now let's... Oh, this is a horse panini. Oh, that is glorious. Heat pressed horse panini. Oh, 
I really hope the British food, <laughs> the British Food Association, is not listening to heat-pressed horse panini. I am not the one who's providing horse meat to the UK. <laughs> oh, that was so. I'm speaking up a bum too much to pay attention. Okay, that was actually a bit reckless. I shouldn't do that. I could lose Giz uh, Gizko. I could lose a uh, Syfax in a charge like that. Okay, let's take up the general. Okay, and I'm not too worried about losing too many horsemen here because I can always replenish my units. The inner, I can recruit these cav in Carthage. Okay, it looks like they're routing. Shouldn't be a problem. I can just uh, skirmish these guys off. Yeah, that general can go. The general's dead, so that doesn't concern me too much. This Sestati unit does, though. Yeah, they're definitely going to rout. There is no way they're not going to rout from this. He's, yeah, there we go. Good game, sirs. Stop firing. You have been wrecked. Don't come back to North Africa. Look at them, tail between their legs. Men are perfect. Bon, bon, and another bon. And no, one no one can argue that it's both well deserved and worthy. I've played this game for far too long. Victory. Glorious victory indeed. Now that is the Skippy I dealt with. One of the three attacks. Now I've got the Julii who... They might retreat actually. Now I'm seeing their brethren Order. utterly crushed. Mm. Yeah, I should be able to replenish that. Let us hope. Let us hope. Let us hope. Oh yeah, plenty. Plenty. Quite cheap. Yeah. I'm annoyed. I can't. I'm just a little off. Ah, um, ooh, actually no, because I still have to, I was going to say if I merge those two units and then replenish, I'll have more money, but I won't, it'll be the same. Um, is there anywhere else where I'm building where I don't need to? It may mean I have to stay in extra turn because I do need some archers. How many uh, skirmishers should I have in the region? Two, Orders? three... Well, I have plenty of skirmish, actually. I didn't need to get this. What I do need is more archers and more cavalry. Now, the desert desert infantry I do want, but right now the archers are more useful. This, my strength lays in skirmishing power. I don't have enough archers. If I have more, I can take out larger armies at a distance. Because everything right now is uh, cavalry-based, skirmisher-based. If I had a barbarian mercenary unit, I would probably hire that, which I'm probably going to do in the uh, over in Spain. But right now, I do want some more archers. Thrace and Macedon, and we're going to run some Syfax. Everything is going spiffingly now. I just want to double check all of my cities, just to make sure I'm doing everything as efficiently as possible. Oh, I should take you down a couple notches. Glad I checked. Memphis is all good. Thebes is fine. Tingi is chillin'. Cordoba is good. Nepti is good. I could I could increase it actually, but no, population. No, population is Wow, Carthage is very happy. I'm bleeding them dry and they're still like we love you. We love you so much. Same as Thapsus. Everyone loves us. Well, that's kind of because we killed all the dissenters. <laughs> Everyone who survived is just happy to be alive. Uh, yeah, that is everything. How much money are we going to make this turn? Well, it's set. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I believe that number this time. 1,400. Not a whole lot. Okay. Now I'm going to make... Should I move these guys? Always forget to move you, Captain Theogers. There we go. Okay, let's move on. Ooh, you can reach me. Well, this is a rookie error. You are crushing a bridge, sir, against four units of archers. I am going to have some fun here. Let's get ready to rumble against 
Fuck, I've forgotten his name. Oh, what was his name? Simon? Was it Simon? No, it's not Simon. Fuck, what's his name? Oh, I'm not to remember his name. I'm like, okay, I'm not. While I try and kill you, I'm gonna try and remember what I fucking called you. Simone? It's not French version of Simon. Uh. Tybalt? No. Uh. Before the sun sinks in the west. Simon. Ooh, there's another brotting. Whether the day goes well, is it? Is it Simon? I think it's Simon. I'm just gonna call you Simon from now on. I'm sure you had another name, but you're now Simon. Alright, Simon? That's how little I care about you. I can't remember your own name. God damn it, Simon. It's always you. With your fucking lollipop hat. Okay, now let's uh, shut up about Simon and get ready to shoot them in the face with multiple projectiles. Now, we actually have a second river crossing here. It means we... Uh, when these guys goon rush across the bridge, we can send a couple units around the rear and hit them in the derriere. Which would be good, because um, I'm fairly confident I could win this battle. It's just about making sure that these guys fully rout. Though I actually have to say that this bridge looks a bit shorter compared to the other bridges which I've seen. But this uh, landmass is close together, so they probably can fire. We can fire at each other from here. So I hope they don't just wait and shoot me. Okay, let's move up slightly. But you guys... Yeah. Mutinez is going to stay with my main force. The cavalry is going to come over to their left flank. And get ready to ride on in. Gonna play in case they. Can Ooh, yep, they're they're marching into fire on me. Okay. Now they are being sneaky, and they're well sneaky, just smart in general. Very smart indeed. But they are in a tight formation, which is a bit silly. Okay. Let's try and hit them before they start reloading. You guys are going to move up very slightly. I'm going to fire over there. Are they firing on They're not actually firing on me. I guess they gotta wait till all of their units have formed up. Oh, because they're also forming up over here. Well, I will. Ooh, we got a bit of experience. Good going, Steve. You rock, Steve. Fuck you, Simon. Okay. Those bowmen are just taking it, taking it in the face. Oh, and here they come. Okay, you are going to go into a tight formation and hang back. Ooh, okay. Hit those chariots. Going to hit those chariots. Come on. I'm going to take out old lollipop face. Old Simon, old Tybalt, whoever the fuck he is. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, you can get back. Okay, you are also going to charge in here. He's only got 37 men left. Not a whole lot, but there is... Oh, chariot archers. Okay, general's going to come in. Come on, mutinez. Show your stuff. Okay, come on, Mutinez. Come on, Mutinez. Come on, Mutinez. Well, this hasn't worked as I planned. But come on. Okay, we can still do this. 
perfect enemy. He does not stand, but runs away. Is there any point in killing him? Okay, there's those chariot archers left. It's going to be a problem. That's, that's really annoying. Those guys have come over. Now we're going to take these archers over here. This really hasn't gone my way. Oh, I was overconfident. I was cocky. Okay, come on. Oh, seriously. Why are you walking? Okay, we've got those archers. We're going to take them over here now. Okay, we're actually going to pull back here. You shouldn't have skirmish mode on. No, you don't. Okay, we're going to pull back. My archers. Cool. Okie dokie. I'm gonna pull back there, not to hit by those maybe in spearmen. Cool, those peasants are chasing me. Okay, this definitely didn't go to plan, but. But we are still winning. Ooh, Newton has really did take a hit. God, I was a bit careless. But he survived. It is okay. Okay, fabulous. Yeah, I need to pay more attention. I will be better in the next few battles. Don't you worry. Yeah, what I should have done is hung back just a little bit. I went in loose formation because their archers on the ridge and then they rushed me. That sort of pulled me apart just a little bit. But it's okay, we have this battle absolutely under control. Now it's just to kill 85% of them. Um, I probably lost an arch unit from this. I have to combine these two, I think. Oh, you are chasing me down. He is off the butt. Right, okay, yeah, they, they are really gunning for me. I'm going to take this movie and spearmen. They're still charging. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Good. Let's get over here. Doing just chasing up that one guy. You put like 135 down here, you can kill. Just mow through them. Okay, good. Now I'll kill them. Why aren't you walking? Speak of why aren't you running? <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> okay, what am I on? 73%. You should have this pretty well covered. Just in case we're going to take, take those guys. Okay, why are you running in front of them? I tried to attack them. Ooh, okay, yeah, you want to get this peasant fight right now. Okay, take as many as you can. 80%. We'll be on, we'll be on. 82? Oh my god, seriously. Not gonna do it. Oh well. Oh well. I guess that sort of rounds off what this battle really was. It was kind of a little bit silly on my part. Ooh, I could take him. I could take him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Slain like I've never slayed before. Oh, yes, come in. Come in, come in, come in. Yes. Good. All the bonds. Thank you, sir. 
Well, after that terribly fought battle, we still won. We, like, admittedly we didn't lose a whole lot of men, but that was still a bit of a clusterfuck at the start. And Simon is dead. That's all that matters. Okay, good. Now with that... Okay, I took a bit of a hit. That's nothing actually too, too bad. We are going to meet up... Yeah, we can meet up here. That is a splendid force. Alright, now you guys are going to move up. Now with the extra road, so we can move that a little bit farther. Gonna get another one of you. Gonna move these archers up. Get a peasant unit at Alexandria. We can think we have enough archers now. And we'll bring this last guy up to join up. Now we that's gonna be quite a large army. I think we're pretty much sorted for the uh, the next few settlements. We're gonna have the peasant here, we're not gonna need anything else from down here. And we're gonna check over at Rome and indeed the Julii and the Brutii have attacked. Nothing too considerable on both flanks. We can deal with them pretty easily. But that is where I am going to leave it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.